These are iconic mystery boxes, brand new product called Hollows All Day. And just like the box says, each one of these is going to have a hollow inside dated from 1996 all the way to 2010 with a minimum grade of 7. And with 15 of these boxes in total, we have over $1,500 of these mystery boxes. But with those odds, can we get some absolute bangers? Only one way to find out. Oh, dude. Yes. Boom, baby. Yo, that is actually... What? And that was a monster pull. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, somebody did it! All right, guys, these look pretty cool. So these go for $100 each. So they're definitely not cheap. But the thing is, you can get some old school hollows in here and you kind of never know what you're going to get. And just like with every single mystery product we open up here, you could get a lot less than what you paid. You could get exactly what you paid or you can get a bunch more than what you paid. It's just kind of depends on your luck. But with that being said, let's slice into our first mystery box here and see if we can get something absolutely crazy. And really quickly, I want to let you know that I'm giving away one Scarlet EX booster box to one subscriber here on the channel. So make sure you do the giveaway by number one, smashing the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. It's been a long time since we opened up uh, an iconic mystery box product, but this new one looks pretty interesting. Um, you never know what you're going to get, but let's see if maybe we get something crazy out of here. So I don't want to show the front of the card yet. I want to flip it around. Let's go. Okay, it's this way. There we go. Okay, so looks like we have a Japanese back card. It's definitely going to be old school if it has that back. So it could be something crazy. Let's flip it over. Let's keep the grade hidden. And let's see. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be a Rockets Mewtwo. Nice. So this is from 1999, and it's a gym set. Gym 2 set, I should say. But honestly, it looks really good. I... I think this might be a 9 or a 10. This might actually be a 10. Um, let's see what happens in 3, 2, 1. Oh, the 9. Dude, that's solid. A mint 9. So first card is definitely a beautiful one. It's around $65 in value on this one. So let's see if we can do better on the next one. All right, let's continue. We have our next one, Hollows All Day, box number 2. And it says you could get some Beckett cards in here, which would be kind of interesting to see as well. I wonder if these would be like feel like heavier if it's a Beckett card inside. This feels kind of heavy, actually. I don't know. Let's see. So, yeah, these have these tamper-proof uh, seals in there, which is cool. We've opened a bunch of different products of these. Um, it's pretty cool to see a new one, but am I doing Okay, I did it wrong again. It's this way. Ooh, okay. So, we have a newer backed one. Let's see what... what we, okay, let's see what year this would be. Can we even see the year? Oh, my God. The Wretched Steel EX. Wait, this is still super old. This is 2004. First edition. Oh, my God. The hollow pattern on this thing looks sick. First edition stamp on the bottom there? Dude. All right. Don't even play with me with this one. This is going to be a 10. Don't even play with me right now because I feel like this might be a 10. Is it a 10? Oh, it's a bit 9. Dude, that's still an insane card. Look at this pattern. It's like the cracked ice pattern on it. All right, guys. That's another $65 card or so. Beautiful card, honestly. Two really nice cards so far. Round three, right? Yeah, we're on, we're on box number three. Okay, let's go. Let me know what you guys are thinking about these so far down below in the comments section. Um... I think, I, I hope we get, like, we have 15, so hopefully we get, like, one or two, like, really crazy ones. Um, but you never know, so let's see what we got on this third one here. All right. Am I, am I doing it right? I'm doing it right. Okay. We got it right. So we got another PSA card, so this is a normal backbone. But you could see on the back of this, there's definitely a bunch of damage on the bottom there. And then, yeah, it, there's definitely a bunch of, that could be, sometimes when we see cards from these they're, that are, like, crazy, like, not good condition like that looks like a six or a seven quality just from the back sometimes it means it's like a really old school card let's see what it is oh, oh! yo it is oh my god that is so sick i'm um, not only because it's alakazam base set but it's alakazam shadowless base set and that thing oh my god the front looks amazing though the front looks pretty good i think that this is probably going to be like a seven maybe or a six i'm gonna go with the seven it's a shadowless Alakazam base set, 1999. Pulling the eight. Uh, wow. Okay. The back looked like a seven to me, but that's the front looks amazing. I almost passed out. I thought I was gonna have the first edition stamp there for like a split second. That is actually pretty solid. All right, this or the Registeel might be my favorite so far. This one's definitely more than hundred dollars with the box cost, so this is about 150. All right, moving on to the next one here. Let's see what we could do. Um, I would like. I mean, I just like that. We, they, the stuff is graded by a reputable grading company, and we have a bunch of really cool sort of like cards. 
it's a lot of times it seems like we actually get like solid cards not just like random non hollows and stuff like that which is good to see at least so far anyway uh, but from what we've seen from a lot of iconic mystery box products we have another PSA graded card this has the Japanese back so it's definitely gonna be old school back looks really good okay oh my boy it's my boy Gengar <laughs> dude yes I can never ever get tired of pulling again oh my god dude and it's the Japanese version at that which has the amazing hollow batter a pattern if I could talk I think it might be a little too off for a 10 I think I'm gonna say it's a 9 but a super clean 9 and it is the mid 9 all right let's continue we got plenty of boxes left here hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far if you are smash the like button on the video it lets me know that you guys are enjoying it and to make more content similar to this but let's get the wrap off of here. We're moving on to box number 5 of 15. So far, I guess the best pull in terms of value is going to be that Shadowless Alakazam. Gengar, man, I got so many nice pulls here so far. Um, okay, let's see. This is another one that's probably going to be Japanese card. And it's the newer... Like, when I say newer, I forget when they switched the backs of these. Like, 2001 or something like that. I don't even know, actually. Oh, my God! It's a Delta Species! Oh, <laughs> it is! Oh, my God! It's Delta Species. Ga oh, dude. Holland Phantoms. Japanese Holland Phantoms. 2006. All right. I, I don't even... Oh. Is that a 10? Is that a 10? Dude, it might be a 10. I'm going to say... These are hard to get a 10 on. It might be... I'm going to say a 9 to be safe. It's an 8. Oh, it's the 8. This is such a great artwork, though. That's the cool part. Yeah, like like a bunch, you don't get your value back. But again, that's the gamble. But also the cool thing is it's not just like, here you go. Here's a non-holo, like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like a non-holo Caterpie or something like that. We actually get cool Pokemon that are in here. Well, ones that um, I've been liking anyway. And just like, it's not like junk slaps. We're not getting like random grading card, grading companies that are just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Quality, right? Interesting. So this one is definitely, let me see the back, it's hard to see. Uh, it's not bad, it's not, it's, it's not too bad. It might be like, a, like an eight on the back maybe. Looks like an eight on the back. All right, let's flip it over. It's gonna be a first edition Nido Queen from Jungle. Hollow as well. I think this is, I think it's gonna be an eight. I think it's gonna be an eight. It is the Near Mint eight and it's first edition. Quick close up on that Nido Queen that we got there. Nice card. All right. Let's see if we can kick it up a notch and get something crazier out of this next one here. Let's see if we can get something that's like, it's definitely possible, but something maybe like $200 value or more. It's definitely possible. Let's see if we can do it on this next one here. Let's see if we can get the best card so far in this video. We got a, it looks like a normal backed one here. Um, and it looks pretty, I think it looks pretty good actually. It looks like it, like, actually it looks really clean. Okay, what's this going to be? Oh, dude! Yes! It's Slow King! Oh my god! We actually got an E Series card. It's from Aquapolis. Dude. Okay, this is, I haven't seen Aquapolis cards in so long. We haven't opened Aquapolis in like forever. I feel like it's one of the rarest Wizard of the Coast sets that's out there that you could open up. Swirl. Oh my god, there's two swirls. Half one there and another one there. That is so cool. I don't think I've, I honestly feel like I've never seen this card. Slow King, Aquapolis, it looks good. I'm a flip if this is a 10. Dude, this could be a 10. It's probably a safe nine, but it could be a 10. All right, let's see this one. This is big in three, two, one. Boom, baby! Yo, that is actually nuts! Oh my God! That is actually fire, what? You talk about some of the big pulls. This right here is gonna be the best pull of the video so far. Man, that was a monster pull. Are you kidding me right now? That was, that, that one destroys like all the other pulls. Honestly, like it's probably all the other ones combined just about. Like if you're talking value so far, that's ridiculous. Oh my god. So like what are the odds you think of pulling something like that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got on our seventh one in. Uh, so remember, that's like seven hundred dollars uh, um in like how much these boxes go for, because they're hundred dollars each. Alright. Moving on to number eight though. It has the newer back. Japanese, let's see. Okay, it's Azumara Hollow uh, Soul Silver Collection First Edition. Um, Hardcore Soul Silver era is amazing. This looks honestly looks really clean. I, I do I say this is another ten? Do I say this is another ten? Dude, look at that artwork. Oh my god. I gotta say that like Iconic Mystery Box has a really good taste in cards. I don't know. I don't know any other way to put it. Like you got a really good taste in cards because these are all just 
even like the the ones that were like lower value and stuff they're just so good all right i feel like we might have a shot at 10 on this oh my god somebody pitch me now somebody pitch me heart gold soul silver is one of my favorite eras of pokemon because we're going right back to gen 2 man also that's crazy the last one of these that sold was 55 dollars for a, a gem mid 10 2009 heart gold soul silver azumarill hollow 55 dollars that's solid for like something this old and like I, that's like that's the thing you can get some really good like prices on Japanese cards from back in the day You just gotta get lucky and find stuff. All right get, ooh, a little too far there continuing on with our next box here Let's see what we got. So that's crazy. So this is like the difference right there The last box we got like a $50 card and the other one was like a something ridiculous So there's like that's that's what is a huge variance in uh, obviously what you can get out of these so um, All right Another Japanese backed one. It's definitely not super, super old, but it could be pretty, pretty old. It's 2007. Another. E Why are these so cool? I feel like I need to start doing like Japanese EX era Harkle Till Silver stuff. Like, I feel like I haven't really dabbled in that, but these look so fire with the silver border. In the. Oh my god. Okay. Dragon Frontiers. This is a Delta Species card again. Don't tell me it's going to be 10 again. Let me just see. Ooh, nine. All right. Having a ton of fun on this one. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Continuing on now, our next one here. All right, are we ready? Let's see. Reveal inside this. What do we have? All right, next box is gonna be, oh, switching it up a little bit, okay. Oh, it does say PSA, Beckett, or CGC. Interesting, okay. So this is CGC graded. I never know where the actual like grade is on the front, so I'll just flip it over. But the back is a little bit messed up. Uh, not a lot, but it's probably like, an eight or a nine on the back. Let's just see everything at once. And ready? Let's just let's just go. Wow. Okay. Scizor Neo Discovery First Edition Hollow Near Mint Eight. That's solid. It doesn't have any of the subgrades on there. That's a beautiful card though, for an, especially for an eight. That looks really nice. These ones are tougher to grade because like there's usually like scratches and print lines and stuff. But that's a beautiful Scizor. All right. That was officially our tenth box opened up so far. Let's see what we get in box number eleven here. All right, let's reveal what we got. So these are always fun because you never know what you're gonna get. All right, what are we gonna get? That's the question. PSA graded. Okay, could be an English card on the front. Back looks pretty solid. It looks like a nine on the back, possibly even a ten on the back. Dark Arrows pre-release. Okay, so these are pretty common to find. Um, it's probably a nine. It might sound like a ten. Got a nine. Okay, Dark Arrows pre-release. And these are from Rocket, by the way. So. These are definitely interesting if you do see them on the market. It has like a little pre-release stamp. You can see it right there. The stamp looks so old school too. It's kind of crazy. Continuing on. Let's see what we get out of our next one. We only have four left here. Dude, I would love to get that Gengar right there. The Masaki Gengar. That would be pretty sick. All right. Give me, yeah, give, give me that card. I, I would, that, like, those vending cards are pretty crazy. Um, CGC yet again. Okay, that's our second CGC. I think the grade was over here, right? It was. Oh my god, Giovanni's Persian. Nice. Okay, we got a gym challenge card. It's unlimited. This is so hard to grade, though. I, I had no idea what this would get. This one's really hard to grade. I'm gonna say it's an eight. Nine five? Yo, that's actually insane. Hey, that's actually crazy. Wait, I need to take this out of here real quick. I want to see this hollow, because like, from what I remember, these are so hard to grade. How do you get a nine five? Yeah, you can definitely see there's a bunch of hollow scratches in there. I wonder if that's worth. I don't think that's worthy of a nine, because nine five for CGC is gem mint. I feel like this one's probably not worthy of a nine five, but I could be completely wrong. I'm not a grader. I just, I'm, I'm not. That's not my thing. But um, from what I could tell from this card, that's the first thing I always. Yeah, there's a lot in there, huh? Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think it's a nine five? It's a beautiful card, but don't get me wrong. But you think it's a nine five? All right, this is going to be our final three on these boxes. Let's see if we get some more bangers. Maybe just like one more crazy card, but I don't know if that's going to be possible right now. Um, we snagged that really ridiculous uh, Aquapolis card, which was like insane. That card, you like, you can't even find really sold prices on, so that one's kind of wild. Um, yeah, I, I, like, I don't even think I've ever seen that card in person. Um, I really don't know. But anyway, this is a Japanese-backed card. Oh, I love the Koro Koro Mew! I love the Koro Koro Mew. This is the shining. Oh my God, that's so good. 
Why do we not get this in English? It is unbelievable. It's from the Neo era. So, you know, you think about like the Neo Destiny Charizard and all those crazy shinies. This is right around that era. This is that. Imagine if this was a Neo Destiny. I would lose my mind because that would be it would be this card. Like you would you would, everybody would want this card. In there. But even though like the pattern, you see that has like sparkly stuff on the actual hollow pattern. Such a beautiful card. I'm going to lose my mind. This is a 10. I'm going to lose my mind. This is 10. Oh, it's an 8. No. I was going to say, if this was a 10, I'm about to, I would jump out of my seat. Yo, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. This card in an 8, this, this goes for $225. This is the second most valuable card that we got in today's video. Yo, that's, I actually had no idea. Wait, what is a 9 and a 10 go? What? This is a, the, the, I didn't know this. The 10, that's $3,450 was auctioned in April. That's, re oh, yeah, we weren't getting a 10 on that. That's, <laughs> That is not, dude. Oh my god, I love this eight. Dang, that dude, because it is like, you never will see like a pattern like that on anything else. It is such a beautiful card. Oh my god, dude. That like seriously, I'm like obsessed with this card right now because I've never seen it in person. I've like seen pictures of it and stuff like that. Nothing does it justice like seeing it in person or maybe even in this video. I mean, it looks pretty solid on camera. That's definitely my favorite pull so far. That's definitely my favorite so far, 100%. That's crazy. Okay. Man. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they show one on the back as a 9-5 Beckett? Dude, as a 9-5 Beckett? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's got to be crazy. Okay. Anyway, let's see what we got on this next one. PSA graded. Okay. Could be an English card. Looks pretty good on the back. It's the Hitmonchan EX. What is what? this from Ruby and Sapphire? I've never seen this card in person. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Dude, why are the cards so cool? What is this gonna grade now? What is this gonna grade? A near mint eight? Yo, seriously, I already said it. A cognitive mystery box. Like literally, chef's kiss on the types of cards that are in here. It's so like they're just all so nice. Even when the value is like a bunch less than the hundred dollars on them, there's still like the the cards that you're getting are still pretty sick. I mean, all right. So sadly, we're already at our last one. Um, this has been a ton of fun, though. Always a fun time opening up some of these products that we got in here. So um, yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool. Like we haven't opened up iconic mystery box stuff in like a, a pretty long while. Um, so it was cool to see a new product. And let's go. Okay. Come on. All right. So this is gonna be the last one. Let me know what you guys thought about these in the comments down below. But here we go. Our last one. It's going to be Japanese back, it looks like. Um, but what's it going to be? What is the card going to be? Okay, a little something there. A little something there. Let's see what the card is. Oh, my God. Dude, let's go. Only the, like, only bangers. Only bangers. Holland Phantoms Deoxys 2006. Japanese first edition. I'm telling you guys, I'm, I think we got to start opening up some, like, like, Japanese stuff from, like, EX era in that ballpark, like Diamond Pearl, Targold, Soul Star. I think we got it. I think we have to. I think that stuff is actually really, really, really hard to find still. But maybe we could try something. Um, beautiful card. Love it with the silver borders. Let's see if we can end it on something crazy. It already is crazy. But in three, two, one. Then in mint nine. All right, guys. I had a ton of fun. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.